very good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you will watch this video. So today we are meeting over here to calculate the best numericals as well as the important numericals which are present in the chapter of properties of gas. Now in this video, whatever method that I am going to teach you, if this method you are able to understand properly at that time, now you are capable to solve any kind of numerical which is based on the properties of gas. So let us start this video without wasting any time. I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So we'll start with this video. We will take one numerical based on that. Now before taking one numerical, first of all, I will explain or I will say that which type of equations that you have to use in different different numericals. After that, uh, we will take one numerical. So before taking one numerical, I will explain the equations which are necessary for the numericals. So first equation if I want to say that is uh, very much uh, you are very much familiar with that which is uh, dq is equals to du plus dw in which dq means what heat transfer and its unit is kilojoule per kg du means change in internal energy whose unit is also kilojoule per kg and dw means work done or you can say work transfer whose unit is also kilojoule per kg so that uh, whole term having a single unit which is your kilojoule per kg now next important equation to calculate the example is pv is equals to mr T that is your universal gas equation that proof also we have seen in one of the video now in which pressure must be always in terms of uh, Newton per meter square or you can say it is equals to what it is equals to Pascal that means in your uh, numerical if pressure is given in terms of uh, bar so you have to convert in Pascal how you convert supposing pressure is 5 bar so 1 bar is equals to how much Newton per meter square 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square or 10 raised to 5 Pascal. Now in this manner you can convert the bar in terms of uh, Newton per meter square or Pascal then put the value. Now volume must be always in meter cube then M is the mass of fluid or mass of gas or mass of air whatever thing which is given in your numerical it is in terms of kg r is your universal gas constant uh, whose unit is uh, kilo joule per kg now that uh, r is in terms of kilo joule per kg and its value if it is not given in your numerical so you have to remember which is 0.287 that is the value for r which is 0 0.287 i am writing very small letters because i have to cover whole board by calculating the different types of examples so i hope you are able to see that much small letters first of all let me check okay you can see this now after that next equation if I want to say so it will be a simple Cp minus Cv is equals to R that also I have proved in one of my video same way uh, similar to that it is your Cp by Cv is equals to gamma or Cp by Cv equals to and where gamma is known as adiabatic index whose value you have to remember 1.4 n is known as polytropic index whose value is 1.3 supposing in your numerical value of uh, gamma is 1.3 then you have to accept its value as 1.3 at that time you should not say sir over here gamma is 1.4 so I will consider 1.4 no if value is not given then you should consider 1.4 otherwise whatever value is given in your numerical that you have to accept for polytropic index also supposing 1.1 is given for polytropic index so you have to consider 1.1 instead of 1.3 these two values you have to consider when gamma value and n values are not given after that that cp is known as specific heat at constant pressure you know and cv is known as specific heat at constant volume that also you know and r is universal gas constant which is 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin kilojoule per kg 
Kelvin. Why Kelvin? Because over here temperature is in terms of Kelvin. So one thing you should remember, which one for this chapter, that in this chapter, whatever numericals that you are going to solve, first of all, convert pressure in terms of Newton per meter square or Pascal, then uh, temperature must be in Kelvin. That means in short, all pressures must be in uh, Pascal and all temperatures must be in Kelvin. Then only you will get the correct answer. Now CP means what specific heat at constant pressure. If the value of specific heat at constant pressure is not given to you, so you have to consider its value as 1.005 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. And if value of CV is not given, so you have to consider, remember its value which is 0.717 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. If it is not given, then only. But supposing in the numerical it is asked to calculate the value of specific heat, at that time you should not write these two values. At that time you have to calculate. How you will calculate both of this value that we will see. But the value of gamma and n you cannot calculate. It is given in the example or if it is not given directly assume gamma is 1.4 and n is 1.3. But over here if a value of CP and CVs are not given and in the numerical if it is asked to calculate then you have to calculate. But in the numerical if it is not asked to calculate these two values then directly you will assume CP equals to 1.005 and CD equals to 0.717. That means if it is required or if it is asked in your numerical then only calculate these values. If it is not asked, need not to calculate, directly assume these values. Clear? After that, next we will go with uh, change in internal energy which is du. So du is equals to what? MCV T2 minus T1. Answer will be kilojoule per kg. Answer of a du will be in kilojoule per kg. Then next is uh, uh, dh means change in enthalpy which is mcp t2 minus t1. Answer will be in kilojoule per kg. Over here cv value which thing you will consider 0 0.717. Uh, CP value which thing you will consider 1.005 kilojoule per kg Kelvin so answer will be in kilojoule per kg for dH change in enthalpy and du change in internal energy. Now next work done equation you have to remember supposing in your numerical uh, isothermal process is given and if you want to find out the work done by isothermal process so work done by isothermal process that we have derived which is MR T1 ln v2 by v1 that is final volume by initial volume r is 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin and value of mass is given in your example if it is not given then you will see later Achha. now next equation work done by adiabatic process supposing in your numerical adiabatic process is given so work done by adiabatic process equation you have to remember which is mr t1 minus t2 upon gamma minus 1 so answer will be in kilojoule per kg over here also kilojoule per kg answer of work done by isothermal process that means work done are also in kilojoule per kg unit also one more thing work done by polytropic process so simply replace n uh, gamma with n how mr t1 minus t2 upon n minus 1 kilojoule per kg if n value of n is given except this value if value of n and gamma are not given so over here value of gamma is 1.4 and value of n is 1.3 so put that value over here so that you will get the answer in kilojoule per kg kelvin also one thing you have to remember when gas is compressed or your fluid is compressed in the numerical it is given that fluid is compressed or air is compressed so whenever Compression is given. Compression is given. So always work done answer must you will get in negative sign. That means work done answer will always be negative whenever compression process is there. And also heat transfer answer or dq or dw you can consider instead of w you can consider dw also instead of q you can consider dq also. Why? Because it is a process. So answer of q will be always in negative sign. But if it is your compression, sorry, if it is your expansion process, so for expansion process, opposite of this, work done answer will always be in positive and heat transfer answer will always in positive. 
clear about that now we'll start with this okay so these are the list of the equations if this equations you are able to remember properly then we will start the uh, one numerical so we will take one numerical which is uh, very much important so first numerical i will write from the note that uh, 5 kg of air is heated from 25 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade determine number 1 i will say a determine a a is what specific heats then b b is what that the uh, change in internal energy so directly i will write du or delta u any notation you can keep then uh, c is what change in enthalpy means dh now next is what heat supplied heat supplied means dq or q also you can say then anything else is given okay next is assume capital r which is universal gas constant which is 0.287 Kilo joule per kg Kelvin. Supposing this unit is given in terms of two eight seven joule per kg Kelvin, so you have to convert that R in terms of kilo joule per kg Kelvin by multiplying it with ten raised to minus three. But over here directly unit is kilo joule per kg Kelvin, so this value you have to accept. Anything else also, and Am is equals to one point four four Am. Then work done is also given, so I will write work done is how much? It is five hundred kilo joule, five hundred kilo joule. So that is the numerical in which which thing is given? Five kg of air is given. Means uh, over here I will write mass is how much? Mass is equals to five kg. Then next is what? It is heated from this temperature to that temperature. Means. T1 is initial temperature which is 25 degree centigrade, and as I told you that you have to keep the temperatures in Kelvin. So, uh, so you will add 273 so that you will get the answer in terms of Kelvin. So it will be your 298 Kelvin. Now next, it is heated from this temperature to 150 degree centigrade. So T2 is 150 degree centigrade plus 273. So is that temperature will be your 423 Kelvin. Anything else? Value of R is given. So over here value of R I will write 0.287. If it is not given, then also you can write this value. Value of gamma is given. Area by taking index 1.4. It is given. Also work done is given. So I will write dW. You can write WD also. Doesn't matter. So the work done is equal to how much? 500 kilo joule. That means over here work done answer is positive. They are giving the work done answer in positive term. So work done is positive when expansion is there. So when air is heated from 25 to 150 degree. So initial temperature of air is 25 degree, and when it is heated at that time volume of the air is increasing. Why? Because its temperature is increasing, and when volume of the air is increasing, so expansion process is taking place. Over here, expansion process is taking place, and in expansion process, what happens? Work is rejected. That means work done is positive. Okay. Now, uh, which thing we have to calculate? So over here, I will start. That is the given data. First thing is which one to calculate? Say A. Specific heats. Specific heats means what? You have to calculate the value of Cp and Cv. That means now you should not uh, write this value of Cp is 1.005 and 0.717. You have to calculate because in the uh, numerical it is asked to calculate the value of specific heats. That is specific heat. That is also specific heat. So specific heats answer you have to calculate. How will calculate? You know which equation that Cp minus Cv equals to R. So I will write Cp minus Cv is equals to R. So can I write Cp minus Cv equals to R is given, which is 0.287. Also, you know one more equation, which is which one Cp by Cv equals to gamma. Cp by Cv equals to gamma, which is also equals to n also, but I am writing gamma. Why? Because value of gamma is given. That's why. 
so can I write CP by CV is equals to gamma is 1.4 so can I write CP is equals to 1.4 CV now value of CP value of CP I will insert over here value of CP is what 1.4 CV so CP is what 1.4 CV minus CV is equals to 0 0.287 so I will get the answer as 0 uh, that is 0 0.4 CV is equals to 0 0.287 so CV is equals to how much 0 0.287 divided by 0 0.4 so with the help of calculator you can calculate that value so CV answer I am getting as that CV over here how much answer we are getting 0 0.717 but actually if you calculate then you will get the answer as 0 0.717 5 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So that is your final answer for C. Let me check the answer of C. 0 0.7175. So approx value we are taking as 0 0.717 if it is not given. Same way if you want to find out CP. So for that purpose CP how you find? So in this equation, in this equation, so I will put the value of what C. So I will write CP is equal to a CP minus CV is what? CV is 0 0.7175 which is equals to 0 0.287 so you get the value of CP that term will go over here with positive signs it will be 1.0045 kilojoule per kg Kelvin so that is your another answer so both are the answers 1.0045 so CP answer uh, value we are remembering as 1.0045 approximately so over here we are getting 1.0045 correct answer now that first thing is calculated now next thing we will go for B B is what change in internal energy so change in internal energy is what MCV T2 minus T1 so I will write the BU is equal to what MCV T2 minus T1 so M is given mass is 5 kg over here mass is 5 kg value of cv now value of cv you should not consider 0 0.717 by because over here you have calculated so that value is 0 0.7175 t2 is 423 minus t1 is 298 so that you will get the answer of du which is you can calculate and you can verify also which is 448 448.44.44 kilo joule that is the final answer now as i told you over here that the uh, answer will be in kilo joule per kg for du but over here i am getting the answer in kilo joule why because supposing supposing if mass of the air is 1 kg supposing mass of the air will be 1 kg then whatever change in internal energy you have calculated now that internal energy change will be for 1 kg of air will be for 1 kg of air but over here 5 kg is given so that much internal energy is changed for 1 kg of air but actually for 5 kg of air if you want to find out the change in internal energy so multiply that answer with 5 kg then kg kg will get cancelled so answer will be in kilo joule clear about that what actually i am trying to explain but right now you have to multiply with 5 because already 5 is multiplied clear about that sure now next question is what next question is a c C means change in enthalpy. So change in enthalpy equation that is MCP T2 minus T1. So I will write dH is equal to MCP T2 minus T1. Over here M is given which is 5 kg. If you will write 1 kg, if you will write 1 kg over here, then whatever answer you will get for change in enthalpy that will be in kilojoule per kg kilojoule per kg. That supposing you are getting the answer 20. Suppose 20 answer you are getting. 20 answer you are getting by considering mass is 1 kg so answer is for kilo joule per kg that answer for dh you are calculating for 1 kg of mass but you have 5 kg of mass so multiply with 5 kg so kg kg will get cancelled so it will be your 100 kilo joule 20 into 5 so you will get the answer in 100 kilo joule but over here a mass we are keeping as 5 kg not 1 kg so that is why your answer will be in kilo joule i hope you can understand what i am saying so mass is 5 
then CP value, CP value over here 1.005 that you should not consider because you have calculated CP which is your 1.0045 T2 minus T1, T2 is 423 minus 298. So final answer for DS if you can calculate and you can verify it is 6 to 7 point uh, it is your 81 81 not kilojoule per kg 5 kg air you are considering so kilojoule and last question is what dq so over here d i will consider d is change in Heat transfer, heat transfer you want to calculate and heat transfer if you want to calculate so du plus dw so it is your du plus dw now value of du is given you have calculated which is 448.44 plus dw answer work done answer is given is given which is 500 kilo joule and du is also in kilo joule so answer of dq will also be in kilo joule so answer will be how much it is 948.44 now over here heat answer is also positive why because expansion is there so work done is positive work done that where i have written work done that is work done answer is positive so heat transfer answer is also positive why because it is an expansion process because air is heated from uh, 25 to 150 so expansion is taken place and in that work done and heat transfer both answers will be in positive so now you can note it down properly after that i am going to rub this so i hope you have noted down so i am going to rub that now next numerical liberty which is very much important also so we'll go with the next now next is your next numerical in air compressor air enters at 1.013 bar and 27 degrees centigrade having volume of 5 meter cube per kg and it is compressed now over here it is compressed compressed means what work done answer and heat transfer answer both must be in negative sign that later we will check compressed to how much bar 12 bar isothermally then what you have to do calculate a what work done dw or wd you anything you can write next uh, b is heat transfer dq or q then c is change in internal energy which is du that's it that is the numerical so i will start to solve this i will uh, increase my speed for explanation and if you find that my explanation is too fast then you can uh, watch this video at the speed of 0.7x or 0.5x so i'm going to uh, solve this numerical how i'll solve first of all in air compressor air enters at uh, that much pressure means initial pressure is given which is your 1.013 bar but you have to convert in bar over here somewhere i have written if it is in bar so you have to convert in pascal 10 is to 5 so that will be your 1.013 into 10 is to 5 watt newton per meter square or pascal then uh, that is the initial pressure and temperature means t1 which is 27 degree centigrade so we have to convert in kelvin so 27 plus 273 so i think it is your 300 degree or sorry 300 kelvin t1 now next is what is it has having the volume of 5 meter cube means v1 is also given which is 5 meter cube per kg that means for 1 kg of air volume is 5 meter cube 
and it's compressed to 12 bar then it is compressed to 12 bar means what initial pressure is that much and when it is compressed so its pressure is increasing and how much pressure is increased p2 is equals to how much 12 bar we will convert in newton per meter square so it will be your 12 into 10 is to 5 newton per meter square or you can say in pascal but calculate the required things so that is your given data I will keep aside this given data. First of all, we will start with what? We will start with DW. How we start with DW? So first, DW. Work done. So first, work done. Now, uh, any process is given with you? That uh, process, how it is compressed? It is compressed isothermally. And you have to find out the work done. Work done of what? Isothermal process. And work done for isothermal process is this. So I will write this equation. Work done by isothermal process is what? M R T1 ln V2 by V1 final volume by initial volume which is equals to now M is given M is not given so you have to calculate how you will calculate so uh, you can calculate like this that uh, you know that P1 V1 is equals to M R T1 and you have to calculate P1 is given which is this much V1 is also given which is 5 meter cube per kg R you know 0 0.287 T1 in Kelvin 300 so that you will get the answer of M in kg then you can put over here then you can solve this answer uh, that uh, equation so that the final answer you will get but uh, instead of doing this one shortcut if I want to say so instead of uh, M R T1 instead of M R T1 which thing you can write you can write P1 V1 Instead of MRT1, you can write P1V1 equals to MRT1. So that mass you should not calculate. It is easy for you now because first in first equation mass is missing. But if you write P1V1, so now it is not necessary to calculate the mass. P1V1 ln V2 by V1. Now V1 is there but V2 is not given. V1 is present but V2 is not present. But uh, P1 and P2s are given. That means if you will convert that V2 by V1 in terms of pressure ratio, then only your work can be done. So for that purpose, what you can do, so somewhere over here I will write, it is isothermal process. For isothermal process, equation is PV equals to C. And for a process, two points are there. So P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. Whose value you want? You want the value of V2 by V1. So I will make V2 by V1 as subject. So V2 by V1 is equal to what? P1 by P2. So instead of V2 by V1, which thing I can write? P1 V1 ln V2 by V1 is what? P1 by P1 by P2. So I will write P1 is how much? 1.013 into 10 is to 5 into V1 is how much? It is your 5 into ln. P1 is how much? P1 it is your 1.013 into 10 is to 5 whole divided by P2 is how much? 12 into 10 is to 5. Now if you calculate the answer, so your answer will be, remember that your answer will be in joule per kg. Per kg why I am writing? Because mass of air we don't know. So we are calculating the answer for 1 kg of air. And why joule? Why not kilojoule? Because over here pressure is in terms of newton per meter square it is not in kilometer square or not in kilonewton also volume is in meter cube it is not in kilometer that means kilo term is not present so final answer whatever you will get in that also kilo term will never present so you will get the answer in joule per kg clear about that so answer will be your minus if you will solve this so you will get the negative sign which is minus one two five 2063.15 now that answer is in, is in joule per kg so you will multiply that answer with 10 to minus 3 so that you will get the final answer so over here i will write work done by isothermal process is how much uh, minus 1252 the three decimals 1252.063 kilojoule per kg why per kg because we don't know the mass of air we are finding the work done answer for 1 kg of air so work done answer is negative why work done answer is negative because initially pressure is less and after that pressure is increasing that means compression is there whenever compression is there work done answer will be negative also heat transfer answer must be in negative answer so that is your work done answer which is in negative sign now we will calculate dq so d is 
DQ. Now DQ answer must be in negative because compression. So DQ answer must be in negative. So DQ is equals to what? DQ is equals to what? First equation that is your DU plus DW. Now for that you have to find out DU because uh, DW you have calculated which is plus minus 1252.063 how you calculate du so for that du uh, is asked yes du is asked so first of all we will calculate du how you calculate du so it will be your c du is equal to what du is equal to what mcv t2 minus t1 so it will be mcv t2 minus t1 so mass is not given so you should not write, you can write 1, then only you will get the answer in kilojoule per kg, that uh, kilojoule per kg work done is there, so that is a kilojoule per kg and du will also be in kilojoule per kg, so dq will be in kilojoule per kg, value of CV, now value of CV, in the numerical it is not asked to calculate, so you can assume the value of CV which is how much, that is your 0 0.717, T2 is given, T2, T2 is also not given, so to calculate how you will calculate t2 any idea how you will calculate t2 because t1 is given t1 is uh, 300 kelvin then how you find out t2 need not to find out t2 why because it is which process isothermal process and in, in isothermal process temperature is what temperature is constant supposing this type of process is there over here temperature is t1 over here temperature is t2 and for isothermal process temperature is constant that means you can write t1 is equal to t2 that means over here instead of t2 you can write t1 and t1 will be as it is because t2 is equal to t1 so 1 into 0 0.717 then t1 is how much t1 is 300 kelvin minus t1 is 300 kelvin so this whole answer it has to 0 so du is equal to how much 0 watt kilojoule per kg now that same answer you will insert over here that answer du equals to 0 so dq answer you will get in terms of what minus 1252.063 kilojoule per kg so again you are getting the negative sign for uh, heat transfer why because it is a compression process and for compression process work done answer and uh, that uh, heat supply answer both are uh, negative now calculate note it down if it is required because after that i am going to uh, rub this so can i rub this i hope you have noted down so i am going to rub that now last numerical we will take very last numerical and after that you can solve approximate all numericals which are present in properties of gas so now next numerical this is also important so we will take as only they will draw the line numerical number 3 important one which one 1 kg of air at 7 bar pressure at 7 bar pressure and 90 degree centigrade temperature temperature undergoes undergoes a non flow undergoes a non flow polytropic process undergoes a non-flow polytropic process that is process is given which is which one polytropic process so you have to use the equation of polytropic process the law of expansion the law of expansion the law of expansion is the law of expansion is over here uh, one thing is confirmed which one that the law of expansion is given law of expansion is given that means which process it is expansion process and for expansion process whatever work done answer and heat transfer answer you will calculate that must be in positive side that only your numerical will be correct so law of expansion is PV raised to 1.1 is equals to C PV raised to 1.1 equals to C then pressure falls to 
1.5 bar that means pressure is decreasing initially pressure is 7 bar and then pressure is decreasing up to 1.4 bar that means uh, expansion is there and uh, when expansion is there work done heat transfer answer must be positive so pressure falls to 1.5 bar during the process during the process so calculate or determine a what final temperature of the process final temperature means what t2 initial temperature is t1 final temperature we are saying t2 so here i will write t2 also then next is what b is what work done so that is your wd c is what it is your change in internal energy then b is what heat transfer okay that's it take our universal gas constant value is given which is 0.287 in terms of what 0.287 kilo joule per kg kelvin and gamma and gamma is how much it is 1.4 for air now this value is given for creating the confusion gamma is not required over here why because it is a polytropic process and for polytropic process instead of uh, uh, that uh, gamma which thing you will write you will write and polytropic index okay now uh, i'll uh, start to solve this example but before that it is requested that pause this video and try by yourself and if you are not able to calculate then you can see this video Okay. Now, how we start? First of all, given data. Given data is which one? One kg of air means mass is given, which is one kg. Then uh, having how much pressure? So initial pressure is seven bar. We want in what? We want in newton per meter square. So ten is to five newton per meter square is equal to Pascal. Then uh, here yeah, seven bar pressure and temperature is ninety degree centigrade. Means initial temperature is ninety degree centigrade, and we want in. Kelvin, so add with two seventy three, so its temperature with Kelvin it will be three six three three six three. Yes, three six three Kelvin. Now after that, uh, that uh, process under goes to polytropic process that we know for polytropic process. Which equation P V is to N is equals to C. P V is to N equals to C. Acha, and the law of expansion is P V is to one point one equals to C. So over here, law of expansion is P V is to one point one equals to C. So similar similarities in both of the equation is what P V is to N equals to C and P V is to one point one equals to C. That means indirectly value of polytropic index N is given, which is one point one. Now you cannot accept. 1.3. Why? Because value is given over here. When value is not given, simply we will say the polytropic process. So directly we will say 1.3. But over here, equation is given, which is V V is to 1.1 equals to C. So N is equals to 1.1. Clear up to that. Now pressure falls to 1.4 bar. That means initial pressure is P1. It is fall means P2 is equals to how much? It is your 1.4 bar. Multiply with 10 raised to 5, so we will get 1.4 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square. Anything else? Nothing is given, so we will assume value of R, which is equal to 0.287 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. Also, C P and C V are not given, and over here it is not asked to calculate these values. So I will write C P is equal to 1.005 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. That is your assumption. You are assuming this value. Then C V is equal to what? 1. Point, sorry, 0.717 kilo joule per kg Kelvin. That's it. Now these are the given data. Now with the help of that, final temperature you have to calculate. So how you calculate final temperature? Over here I will write A. A means what? Final temperature means P two answer. You have to calculate. How will calculate? Again, uh, important equation that the relationship between pressure and temperature. If you have remembered which one over here, I will write that I forgot to write, which is P two by P one is equals to P two by P one raised to uh, n minus one upon n for polytropic process. And if For a gravity process, if you want to write down this equation, so it will be your T2 by T1 equals to P2 by P1 whole raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. But that equation is applicable over here. So which equation you will write? That T2 by T1 is equals to P2 
P2 by P1, P2 is 1.4, 1.4 into 10 is to 5 divided by P1 is given which is 7 into 10 is to 5 whole raised to N is given N is 1.1 whole raised to 1.1 minus 1 divided by 1.1. Now some students don't know to operate this thing in your calculator. If you want to write 2 raised to 5. So how you will do 2 raised to 5? First of all press 2 button, then one uh, caret button is there, so press caret button and then press 5, then is equal to so 2 raised to 5 answer you will get. Similarly over here, that will be your 1.1 minus 1, means 0.1 divided by 1.1. What your answer will come? Supposing answer is 0 0.5, supposing this answer is 0 0.5. So that whole answer, supposing that whole answer is 5, that whole answer is Five, that whole answer is 5 and that answer is 0 0.5. So how to solve? You will type 5, then caret button, then 0 0.5, then is equal to sign. So that final answer you will get. Feel about this? Sure, you can try by yourself also. Achha. Next is what? That uh, you have to calculate the answer. So T2 answer will be how much? 313.59. You can check also 313.59. It is in Kelvin. So final uh, temperature you have calculated. T2 then work done. So work done how we calculate work done. Work done by which process? Work done by polytropic process. So work done by polytropic process is which one? Work done by polytropic process MR T1 minus T2 upon N minus 1. So it will be your MR T1 minus T2 upon N minus 1. N is 1. It is given. It is given 1 kg. So in answer will be in kilo joule per kg. R is 0 0.287. You are assuming then T1 is uh, 363 six, minus T2 is uh, right now we have calculated 313.59 divided by N is 1.1 minus 1. So work done answer must be in positive. Why? Because it is expanded. Because it is expanded. So work done heat supply both must be in positive sign. So work done answer if I want to say. So work done will be your 141.8, 141.8 which is kilojoule per kg, positive sign. Achha. Now next question is what? Next question we have to calculate as uh, uh, C du. So du is equal to what? Change in internal energy. M C V T2 minus T1. So M is even 1. C V you have assumed 0 0.717, 717. T2 you have calculated. 313.59 minus T1 is given, T1 is 363. So, DU answer you will get in negative sign, change in internal energy is decreasing because due to the expansion which is minus 35 point, minus 35.42 kilojoule per kg because mass of air is 1 kg so answer will be in kilojoule per kg and last is D, D is what heat transfer so dq is equal to what if you want to find dq plus dw so du plus dw now du you have know, calculated minus 35.43 plus work done answer you have calculated 141.8 so a final answer for dq will be how much Final answer for DQ is 106.37, 106.37 which is in positive. So for expansion DQ and DW both answers are in positive. So now quickly note it down because I am going to rub this. I hope you have noted down or you can pause this and also you can uh, note it down. Now last numerical that word is so last numerical, if we are able to calculate that means you can solve any type of numerical based on in this chapter. Achha. Over here I will mark one line. Then last numerical is fourth one. 1 kg of air, 1 kg of air at a pressure of 1 bar and temperature of 
27 degree centigrade is compressed to a pressure of now is compressed means compression work and heat supply both answer must be negative then only your example will be correct uh, compressed pressure of uh, 10 bar 10 bar how it is compressed isothermally isothermally and adiabatically that means this gas is compressed with the help of two processes isothermal process first of all compression by keeping temperature constant and then it is compressed with the help of adiabatic process in which heat transfer is zero so for adiabatic process remember one thing for adiabatic process remember one thing dq equals to zero because in adiabatic process heat transfer is a zero adiabatic heat transfer is zero Achha. isothermally and adiabatically then which thing you have to calculate 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 which things first work done second heat transfer dq third one change in internal energy du then change in enthalpy fourth one dh anything else in both of the cases in both of the cases in both of the cases means what any idea that means you will solve this numerical first of all by considering which process isothermal process you will get the answer of work done dq du and dh after that you will solve the same numerical by considering adiabatic process that is the meaning of by both of the cases that is total how many answers you will get 1 2 3 4 4 answers for isothermal process and more 4 answers for adiabatic process so total 8 answers you will get clear about this anything else ok over here take CP, CP value is given that you have to consider 1.005 that we are considering kilojoule per kg Kelvin then value of CV is given or not yes it is given CV it is 718 kilo 718 point sorry 718 instead of that 0 0.718 sorry 0 0.718 I am thinking that was large value 0 0.718 kilojoule per kg Kelvin anything else Mm, CP, CV, R is not given, so we will assume R. Clear? Now, how I solve this example? First of all, quickly I will solve this example because it is uh, so much long time for this video. Achha, first of all, given data. Given data is which one? Mass. Mass is 1 kg. Then anything else? It is uh, air at a pressure of 1 bar means P1 is 1 bar. So directly I will write 1 into 10 is to 5. Pascal, now you are capable to understand this. And temperature P1 is how much? 27 degree centigrade plus 273. So 300 Kelvin. Anything else? Compressed to a pressure. Final pressure is P2. P2 is how much? 10 bar. So 10 into 10 is to 5 Pascal or Newton per meter square. Isothermal idea basically. Okay. Uh, CP and CVs are given. So CP and CVs are given. And we will assume R also 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Now quickly I will solve this video. Uh, sorry, quickly I will solve this numerical. Hmm. So how I will start? So I will make two parts. First one is for uh, isothermal process, and next one is for adiabatic process. So first of all, isothermal process. Which thing you have to calculate? Work done. So work done for isothermal process is which one? Now you can say MRT one ln V two by V one. So work done equals to uh, V2 and V1. V2 and V1 both are not given. So come to convert it in terms of pressure ratio. How will you convert that in uh, example number first? I have explained that V2 by V1 equals to V1 by P2. How that you can uh, go back and you can see. So it will be your MR P1 ln P1 by P2. So M is given. M is 1 kg. R is 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg. Kg kilojoule per kg. So answer will be in kilojoule per kg. Okay, and then ln P1 by P2, P1 is 1 into 10 is to 5, P2 is uh, uh, 10 into 10 is to 5, 
So answer will be for work done is what for isothermal process for isothermal process answer is uh, minus 198 minus 198 point uh, 25 point 25 kilojoule per kg. Why negative sign? Why negative sign? Compression compression negative sign for heat transfer also. Second question is what? Second acha. First of all, we will complete over here. Uh, over here first work done by adiabatic process. Work done by adiabatic process is this. So M R T one minus T two upon gamma minus one. Acha uh, M R so work done equals to M is given. M is one. So answer will be kilojoule per kg. Zero point two eight seven into T one is given or not? T one T one is three hundred Kelvin minus T two. You have to calculate now. T two means final temperature. How we will calculate by using this equation? T two by T one equals to P two by P one whole is to gamma minus one upon gamma instead of M. So first of all, let me complete this. That P two by P one is equal to P two by P one whole raised to gamma minus one upon gamma. So can I write that P one over here? So I will write P one over here. Then uh, which thing can I write? P two, P two, P two. Anywhere P two. Ten into ten is to five divided by P one is how much? P one, P one. One into ten is to five whole raised to what? 1.4 gamma is not value of gamma is not given so you can assume gamma is how much 1.4 for adiabatic process because adiabatic process is mentioned 1.4 minus 1 upon 1.4 into t1 is how much t1 is given 300 so answer for t2 must be in kelvin which is t2 is equals to how much t2 t2 hmm, 5 579.20 Point two zero Kelvin. So that answer you will insert over here five seven nine point two zero. So work done answer you will get as how much minus two hundred point three kilojoule per kg. Again man, minus answer you are getting, which will indicate compression process. It is given. Okay. Now second question. Second question is what dQ. So dQ is equal to what dU plus dW change in the energy. So dW is with you. dW is how much? Minus one nine eight point twenty five. dU answer you have to calculate. dU is asked. Yes, dU is asked. So first of all we will calculate dU. So dU is equal to what? M C V T two minus T one. So M is one given. C V is C V C V is given. Zero point seven one seven nine. Zero point seven one eight. So T two is T two. You have to calculate or not? T two. Answer of T two you have to calculate. No. T1 is given. Yes, for isothermal process, which thing you can write for isothermal process? For isothermal process, which thing you can write? Any idea for isothermal process? Where should I write? For isothermal process, you will write temperature is constant. We have seen in numerical number three, I think. So T1 is equals to T2. So over here, T1 equals to T2 minus T1. So it will be your one point. Uh, I sorry, sorry. One into zero point seven one eight. Then T1, T1, T1 is three hundred minus three hundred. So that whole term goes to zero. So dU is equals to zero kilojoule per kg. That answer will insert over here zero. So dQ answer will also in negative sign one ninety eight point two five kilojoule per kg. Again dQ we are getting in negative sign because it is a compression process. For compression process W and Q both are in negative sign. Acha. Then we will go for next second for adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, which thing you have to calculate dQ. Now for adiabatic process, dQ equals to dU plus dW. But one thing you know very well, which one? For adiabatic process, heat transfer is zero. Somewhere I wrote on the board. Somewhere for adiabatic process, dQ is zero. So directly you can write dQ equals to zero. But to get the marks, you have to mention the steps. But you know that dQ answer is zero because in adiabatic process, heat transfer is zero. So for that purpose, you have to find out the answer of dU. And the work done answer already have calculated plus how much minus two hundred point three. So third one is change in internal energy. It is asked. So dU is equal to what m c v t two minus t one. So m uh, m is one. C v is how much? C v is given. C v is given or not? Yes. Zero point seven one eight. T two you have calculated five seven nine point two zero minus t one is given three hundred. So answer for du is how much? Answer for du is two hundred point forty six kilojoule per kg. So du answer is two hundred point forty six. You will put over here two hundred point forty six. 
So what's happened? 200 minus 200 nearly about 0. So answer for DQ will be 0 kJ per kg. Clear about that? Initially we know the answer but we have proved. Achha. Last one for both is which one? Change in internal energy. So it will be our dH is equal to mcp t2 minus t1 as we know t2 minus t1 is the isothermal process so in isothermal process temperature is constant that means t2 equals to t1 so that term will be 0 so dh answer will be 0 kilojoule per kg and finally for this adiabatic process dh we have to calculate mcp t2 minus t1 m ah sorry m is 1 cp value is given yes it is 1.005 T2 is how much? T2 value. T2 value we have calculated 579.220 minus uh, T1. T1 is how much? T1 is 300. So if you calculate, so DS answer for the uh, adiabatic process you will get 280.5 kilojoule per kg. So that is the last numerical. I hope you can understand each and every numericals. Now over here, if I will solve hundreds of numerical, you can understand each and every numericals. But until you will try by yourself, then only you can get the confidence level. Otherwise, it is not possible to calculate the numericals. So try by yourself, then only your confidence level will be built up. So these are the guidelines. If you should follow this, then definitely you can solve any numericals. Now I would like to end this video. Till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.